Goddess Ayawana and today guys I'm going to have a conversation with you about ways your mindset is keeping you stuck okay so before we get into it please don't forget to subscribe and like and also share also hit that notification bell if you want to be notified once I upload a new video okay so let's get to it okay guys your perception of the world in your own life is your reality, okay? So your attitudes and beliefs can and will determine how you generally feel about yourself. So with that being said, if you're positive, you get positive results. If you're negative, you get negative results, okay? So here are some reasons why your mindset is keeping you stuck. I have five key things that could be keeping you stuck okay so the first one is if you're someone that is constantly finding everything that's wrong with the world and what's wrong in your life everything is basically negative then guess what this is what you will experience the negative of whatever your perception is you will feel just that. So take the time to write in your journal when you see yourself doing this. You know, and the things that you write, just write some positive things and that's in your life. Don't write the negative things. Write some positive things that are that is in your life, you know, from your journal. And use it as your affirmations every day. So if you do that, you know, that that will eliminate one of those five key factors of why you are being stuck okay so number two guys so number two um i think a lot of people um uses um number two uh to the extreme into the heart and because you put your all into something and when you do that, it kind of brings you down. It can be depressing. So number two is dwelling on your failures and letting them define who you are. Okay. So if you are someone that has goals and you fail at something, you dwell on it and you let it define who you are, then you can't move forward. Okay. So. Stop holding on to the past and move on. Failure means you have grown, okay? Because if you never fail, you would never know how to fix the situation. So that makes sense. Like, it's okay if you fail at something. When you're starting off, you're going to fail at something. You're not going to get it right. You're not going to know everything. So once you see that you fail guess what you've actually grown and i do mean you have grown you know exactly what not to do in those given situations that comes up anytime next okay okay guys and number three guys is not living in the moment mm, i know a lot of people who do not live in the moment. And I'm one of them. I'm guilty. Sometimes I do not live in the moment. Okay. So not living in the moment could do a lot of damage. Because you got to accept things for where you are in life. Okay. Enjoy the smallest things. You will miss out on a lot. You will miss out on so much. If you are not living in the moment, something could pass you by. You can miss a lot of things. You might miss your future husband. You might miss, oh God, birthdays and just, you know, days of happiness. If you're always boggled down to not living in the moment, you always got something going on in your mind. You're thinking about that failure. You're not living in the moment. Things are just, life is just passing you by, basically. So, 
that is number three guys that's a hard one too you know so let's go to number four number four i like this one because guys this is just so real it is so real pretending pretending to be something or having something you don't own and you put on for your social media especially facebook guys come on stop pretending be who you are okay it's natural to want things you don't have i mean and it's okay it's okay but believe me or not this can hold you back you know pretending you gotta always keep up a facade and then you're keeping up this facade you're getting lost in these pretending situations and stories so guys don't pretend okay be be grateful just be grateful be grateful for what you have it's not a big deal we all go through something but let's not pretend okay Excuse me. I was feeling a little parched. Okay. So that's number four. Okay. Number four was pretending. And guys, y'all need to stop it. Okay. Number five. This is our last. Number five. Not taking the next steps in life. You know what you have planned. You know your goals. But you refuse to take the next steps in life. Feeling and acting like you're stuck. That is a problem. This keeps your mindset stuck. So, get over it. Get over it already. Like, real talk. Move forward and experience some happiness. You know, it only takes you a second to smile, a minute to laugh, and be surrounded by people you love. Be surrounded. Enjoy the smallest things in life, and this will help you take those next steps in your life. If it's right there before you, take it. Do not let fear be a factor, okay? These are some things that I've learned on my journey. You know, your mindset can keep you stuck. And there are other reasons. There are there are so many potential reasons that can keep you stuck that I haven't named. So we're not going to go off into those, okay? So these are our five things that your mindset can stay stagnant okay and if you put the effort to change your mindset by affirmation by waking up early by doing yoga exercising doing something positive putting out positive taking in positive Leave the negative at bay, okay? Just throw it away. We don't want it. Nobody wants it, okay? So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you guys subscribe and like. Also, share. And please, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified once I upload another video. This is Goddess Ayawana, you guys. Peace. So mo it be. You guys have a blessed day. Peace, love, happiness, and light. Thank you.